Hello world, my name is Ben, this is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explain quick tips and tricks in AnyLogic that I learned over many years. And today I want to discuss this. I've got a simple model, I'm starting it, and this is what you typically see, right? If you don't do anything, you just, you just build a simple model, you want to get it running, you want to show it to a client or whoever, and you can't be bothered with the experiment widescreen. So, Many people don't know this, it's just a little trick uh, that I will share, is that you can bypass this screen. If you don't have any user input that you want on your experiment setup screen, you can bypass that. So normally, you know, you, you click run on your model and then you have to click on this button again and only then can you see the model, which is painful if you develop the model and you want to run it many, many times. There's one half shortcut, which is just pressing space when the experiment screen is, is coming up and that automatically clicks the little run button for you. But you can bypass this thing automatically completely if you don't need an experiment setup screen. And the way to do that is go into your experiment, in this case by default the simulation experiment, and in the initial experiment setup code box, which is executed when the experiment is set up right at the start, you just call the run method now, if you run the model now, you will see that it has already started, but it's not actually moving to the to the root of the model, to main. So you can't actually see what's going on. You still see the experiment screen. And in order to fix that, what you can do is you go into the before simulation one code box, which is executed when the run is, is called, essentially. Here you can access root, which is uh, where the actual model sits, which is main in our case. And you can call the origin VA, which is a view area that sits at the origin of your main. So it's, it's essentially this blue square that you get by default. So we go into that and because it's a view area, it has a navigate to function. So what we do is when we compile the model and the experiment starts, uh, this code is called, this starts the engine, it actually starts the model, which executes the before simulation one code. And in there we go into our main, we go to the view area in the origin and we tell the model to navigate that. And what that does is you start the model is automatically, you see your model and it's one. A little trick can save you a little bit of time, can save you a lot of time uh, over the long run. So feel free to use it. Thanks a lot.